Hello and welcome, I'm Carbon Chili and this is the extravaganza that is my channel where we play professional games unprofessionally. This is a game called Urbex City Builder. It's been doing its rounds on YouTube with your general uh, YouTubers, uh, some of my favourite guys, uh, and uh, I'm sure some of your favourites too have been playing this game. I've had my eye on it for a while actually, for about the last year maybe. It, I like a good city builder. I never do city skylines on my channel because there are so many, many much better players out there than me. Um, I, I can play the game, I enjoy it, but in terms of aesthetics and playability and knowledge, there are far many more than me. So I tend to avoid it, but things like Banished and other colony builders, I, I, yeah, I, can, I can play them. I'm a relatively good player at that sort of thing. Now, this I don't really know exactly what it was um, described as uh, before it came out, but I got it, or I, um, the, my understanding was a more resource-based city builder. Now, again, uh, it's actually the second time recently, I'm not actually flying blind on this game. I did play it once. I watched a couple of people play it as well, so I have a little bit of knowledge about it. A little bit. A smattering. By no means any kind of expert, but a, a, a smattering of a, of a dose of a small bit of knowledge. Now, as you can see from the picture here, it can progress quite advanced. Um, it has hints of SimCity and it has hints of banished strangely enough uh, so it's kind of a survival game in that you have to uh, provide resources for your citizens and you build in a more sim city style way i i, I don't really know if that makes sense but buildings do upgrade and uh, things upgrade based on their value, access to resources, access to various things, which is something I, I always thought was a little bit lacking in City Skylines. It does exist, but the noticeable difference isn't fantastic. Whereas in SimCity, especially in fact, all SimCities, even the last one, it was very noticeable when your things improved, your citizens had what they wanted, um, this kind of thing. Now, there are some mods, or there will be mods available, and I'm sure I will look at those at some point, and I may even create a mod or two, uh, as I do like to do that on occasion. So I've been babbling here for uh, a little while, so let us go and jump in with a new game. Now, again, I've had a quick look at this, so I know uh, general things. I I want a large map. Where is a medium map? 100% difficulty. <laughs> Interesting. Um, we're going to go with the temperate because that's what they advise you to start with. Activated mods. Can I let's just go and have a quick look at the mods? Uh, larger forest trees and iron, sports building. Go on, let's have that. That's not too bad. More wooden huts, more flowery. Yep, let's have that. Only farms, all farmers are over some land and roads are food plantations. No, nope, not interested in that. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to have a large map, standard, uh, coastal, coastal, I did like having a mighty river, let's not, no, let's not, 
City name. We're gonna go for. Ooh. Now I always have. I, I don't normally struggle with names. I am pretty good at making names, but for my channel, I don't really want to call it Carbon Chili. It doesn't really sound. Uh, it doesn't appeal to a, a, a city, a city-esque setting. So let us call it. Uh, Carbon stow. Carbon stow. Now, stow is it's an old Saxon word, and I can't remember what it means. I I saw it the other day. It means something like meeting place, landing place, something like that. So, first of all, let's go ahead and pause because that's always a good thing to do. Yeah, pause the game and have a look around. Now it's a very lovely polygraphic style map. I actually did turn the graphics up on this because it recommended me medium, but my computer was coping quite nicely with um, high settings. So, typical sort of thing. We have your trees here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that wind down a little bit because it's it's a bit loud in my ears uh, although I will alter that in editing go all on no none of this is oh well, let's go to graphics window the sync or color yeah I'm happy with all that uh, and let us resume so, you know, uh, I, I believe these are third time. Oh, no, that's desert. Step. Oh, interesting. I got that wrong last time. I assume that was fertile land, but it's not. It, it's desert and step. Uh, trees. So is this fertile? Grass? No, doesn't particularly say if it is or isn't. So, um... Step. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start over here. I think I think this would be a good place to start. So it is very gridified. I will admit. Uh, can you turn the day-night cycle off? Set day. Yeah, set night. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I won't turn it off or on. I have no real problem with day or night cycle. I quite like it. So, can we build a house yet? No, we can't. So, the typical thing, and again, I got this wrong before, is a 5x5 five five tile. Now, these chippy chappies, or for want of a better word, we will call them the carbonites. Uh, they're going to be wanting the farmified. Can, uh, can we build farms yet? We can build farms. So let's go ahead and put in a... Five... Is that one? One, two, three, four, five. A five by five and a five by five. Now, the trees in this are a little bit annoying, but you have to... Uh, if you want to build, you have to delete them manually and that is annoying now why can we not do that uh, maybe i got it wrong maybe it is four by four that's interesting Ah, enough. It's, uh, it's okay. It's about resources. So, let's uh, go ahead and start the game. Get our dudes farming and building and doing all the good carbonite type things. If we zoom in, we can we can have a look at what they're doing. I don't know if we can. Can we click on them? Do we have it? No. There's. It's just Polly Jane doing Polly Polly people Polly things. Ah, uh, with all the little, 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 oh wow, you really can zoom in, eh? 
It's like a Lego world. Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> you know, most uh, most adults do have a, a little bit of a penchant for Lego. Uh, so we built our 5x5. Five five. Now, as with many things, we do have to have a certain degree of resources. So, in a moment, we do need to build a lumber camp. Now, where... Why can we build... Let's pop that lumber camp there. And then we can continue our road there and there and... Let's just extend that there for the moment. Now, can we do... No. Okay, so... Uh, do we need to pop someone to work in here? I can't remember. Production. Uh, no. 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 Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Oh, that allows us uh, to get information. Make you right click or use the magnifying glass. Okay, I think I. Huh? That's not right. That's left. Twenty-five or more raiders and currently fifty-four. Okay, fine. Paved road, 100 urban road, commercial road. Nice, okay, I have no problem with what's happening here. You know, the, the world is tickety-boo here. Now, can we get a little bit of farm, a little bit more? Ooh, ooh, we need a little bit more population for a farmhouse. Uh, we can cultivate all that. Uh, delete that, pop a field in, get some more houses. Now, can we? What is it that we're missing? Uh, we are missing production. I think production is produced by farms along with food. Uh, do we have any statistics anywhere? No, not what I wanted. No. No. Housing. Ah, yeah, that's it. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. I really did not mean to do that. Grass. What's that? Pedia. Achievements. No villas. Uh, policies. Ah, yeah, there's some very cool policies, actually. Ah, minimap. And... What's that? Will this show me fertility? It, well, oh, I think it's kind of showing me uh, different biomified stuff. So, do we have enough to build a couple more houses now? No. More work. We need more work. Hmm. Okay. So, how do we get work? Production. Industry. Uh, no, why can we not? If it consumes work, doesn't produce work. This, this is one thing I found a little bit tricky when I played it before. Placing things like lumber camps, they have very specific requirements, but it doesn't actually tell you what that requirement is. 
I mean, there's no lumber camp. And I like that, for example, it's right next to the road, but no. So certain things I am a little bit lost as to how or why Dutch, ah, houses, houses, that's right, houses produce production, just houses of the people, houses make things. Food, our food and everything is up here. So we got plenty of food in storage, but actually we've got minus food. So do you know what? I'm gonna go and delete that. The problem I made was I obviously put in too much farm, too much food immediately. And we need more houses, certainly, or a balance between... A balance, basically. We need a balance. Balance is always good. So, let's go ahead and uh, zippy zappy that onto a um, higher speed so that we can go ahead and get some stuff built and we're not hanging around waiting for things. Uh, see all the cars driving around. I mean, that's another thing I find kind of uh, uh, funny, strange, weird, N not sure how to put it, but the fact is, you're automatically in a modern era with cars, yet some of the houses look like tin wooden huts. You know, it's sort of slightly unrealistic in expectations of certain things, as it is. Uh, okay, so that's obviously five years we've gone through, and we've We've expanded a little bit. Now we've got a, we can go ahead and do that. And I believe we can add some more fields in and we can put a farmhouse in. So, what does a farmhouse do? Now, if I remember, we want to delete that and pop your farmhouse in there and the same thing on the other side and actually what do you mean it needs roads at three squares well you're gonna have a road then you're gonna have your road there now it's a road within three squares. No? There we go. Now, what do houses do? Houses produce more food. And they allow us to store more food as well. Now, if I remember clear, 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 clearly, we do need like five of these or something. No, three of them, sorry. Three of them to work. I'm not very explaining that properly. Uh, for the lumberjack cabin, or something, or some upgrade, we need a, an X amount of these. Okay, you have one farmhouse in a, in a radius, so now I need to put the road up. The uh, farmhouse in no farmhouse. Here, demolish this tree. Let it over to a save. My god, that time is going extremely quickly. Can I just delete you? Let's slow you down to a more normal pace because you're, you're jumping ahead of myself here. Now, 
But that, what do we need for a lumberjack cabin? So we, now we need to pop in some more houses. Have I been building these wrong? I have been building them wrong. Well, I never. That's not too much of a disaster. We can always go ahead and fix that. Didn't I just bulldoze you? Village cabin. Oh, what's that? Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm gonna have to fix this ever so slightly. So what do we need to do? We need to destroy that road. We need to bring it ahead too on both sides. Then we need to put another layer of houses in here. Another layer of houses in here and connect our road up on the side. Can we destroy that? That's looking tickety boo. Uh, oh, what's this? Parks. Lumberjack cabin. One or more lumberjack cabin in a we can pop it there, can't we? Very good. Uh, parks. Now, what do we need for parks? Oh, 700 population. Landmark. What landmark? Neighbourhood council, 700. We need a tenant, farmer, landlord house, and a grain silo. So, what is a tenant farmer? They are people who rent the farmland. Let me just double check this. Five or less tenant farmers in a one square radius. Three or more farm in one radius. They don't have any farms. Now, what about if we go ahead and delete that? Can we farm on that? It's snow, we cannot farm on it. So, what we're better off muck doing... In... My God, I... I didn't... Oof. I'd say that he's mildly annoying. Having to... to... to deletify... the trees all the time. So... Let's deletify all those. What's this? Is this grass? Okay. So now if we put a tenant farmer, can we do that? No. So let's drop in some fields. A five by five. Okay, now we got some fields. Now can we put in tenant farmers? No. Okay. Okay. I thought this this would be a, a problem. So let us go back to industry and we're gonna pop in a lumber camp there. And then we're gonna demolish that. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Nobody can complain. Now what is it with you bloody tenant farmers? Oh, I understand. Right, so why don't we do this? One, two, three. Now we've got a landlord's house. So if we go delete, delete, and now we pop in another tenant. No, no. Why? Okay, can we put... Oh, oh, wow, that's big. Oh, 
Wow, that's pretty big. Three or four tenant farmers in a particular radius. Right, let's get that up there. Get that down there so we know what we're looking at. Even if we pop another... Why can we not put a tenant... Okay, so if we do the same here, for example, let's pop in five of those. Delete, one, two, three. Pop in one, two, three. And now we can pop in a landlord. Aha! So, if we take the road there, we take the road down there, we've got three farmhouses. Can they live in the snow? I wonder if they can. Now, what is our population? Our population will not have grown, but actually we can increase our housing here. Five by five. Perfect. Ooh, these houses have... It is five by five, I was right. So now if we pop a road in here, down here, it's very blockified. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, okay, now we have parks. Perfect. Oh, we have... What's this? Football pitch. 7.4. So now we need to... What's that? Ooh. So now parks, uh, uh, nice park, what do we need? Four green areas, okay, so. How do we do this? I'll tell you how we do this. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And here, Finish off this road. Oh, what's that? A uh, graveled area. Let's finish off this. Uh, take this down here. To here. What the hell is what? Some reason a house in the random house in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so this housing. Now that's going to be a four by five this time. Because we got parks on the other side. Now. Uh, here, we are re destroying a resource, so actually let's do it in the snow. So, let's go ahead and pop, ooh, paved areas, nice part. Go pop ahead, oh, here and we have villas, what do we need for a villa? What do we need for a villa? Ah, water mill. Okay, so we, we really do need to up this uh, population somewhat. Now, our lumber is really low, in all honesty. Our work is not too bad. But down here, I'm going to suggest that actually we need another lumber mill. What about if I continue the road down here? We, we know where it's going to go, more or less. Like here. We, we know it's going to go there. Why did that not build? Okay, better. So, if we now put in a why? Why can I not build? Okay, let us continue to extend the road right through here. Yeah, water mills unlocked. Because, yeah, okay. So, lumber camp. Come on. 
There we go. Okay, now a lumberjack. Now, baby. One or more lumberjack. What about if I destroy that tree? Will it allow me to put it in? Yeah. Okay, so sometimes it's actually not about that. It's about the uh, things in the way. A watermill. Now, where can I build a watermill? Oh, can it be there? Oh, I need more wood. Okay, let, 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 we can let the things run a little bit. Till we have the wood required for a lumber mill. Now, where are we producing the electricity from? That's quite an interesting thing, because I do not have any kind of electricity in actual fact. I mean, I'm assuming people are making electricity somehow. There are no models that satisfy the location. Well, we can always put one in there then. There we go. Our first water mill now. Night time comer. Night time comer. So, we need a grain silo. We've got a water mill. We need to put in some more nice parks. The last nice park. Can we put in a green area? You unlocked a bike. Wow. Path of leisure. Okay, fair enough. It seems I... Ooh, a main square. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Let me go ahead and put my houses in first. One, two, three. Ooh, I do not have enough resources. Uh... Wood is here, probably wood. We make, we've got a lot of work. Are we consuming a lot of wood? Interesting. Don't know what a paved area does, but I bet it... Oh, floral park. Yeah, okay. Sorry, it, it, it very much does seem we are taking a, a path of leisure in our city of carbon stone. Now, let's pop our road in there. What are the parks? We've got a... Let's have a graveled area down the back. Oh. I tell you, that's one thing. The only thing annoying me about this going so far is... Ooh, ooh a dock. Is the... The fact that you have to demolish everything before you can build on it. This is really quite fundamentally annoying to me. Okay, well, how much more do we need? How much? It's 10, 10, 10, so we need 60. Oh, that should be enough. There we go. Okay, so that, that city of carbon still is... It's looking all right. One cannot complain. Now, if we click here, we should be looking. We should be looking at its production and needs. So, fifteen or more squares that have with at least six residents in a three or less than one, or less pollution in a five, has eight residents of eight happiness. Upgrades to wealthy village house or villa. Villa, do we have any villas? Okay, so really we should be looking at a dock now. 
and our dog would go perfectly there. Our dog, oh, fisherman's house. Is this a industrial thing or is it a, no, it's a food thing. No. What is it? It's a farmhouse. Landmark, local market, council, mini market, uh, a dock, main square we don't have, no, a, a fisherman's house, maybe it's houses which are close to that location, so if we were to pop that in there, would it then mean they yeah, that's right. They turned to fishermen's houses. Now, if I put a house there and there, does that mean that they would turn into woodcutter houses? It could be the case. It could be the case. So, where are we? Well, what are our next goals here? Uh, green areas, so we need some more green areas. Dock, landlord's house, 11. A landlord's house creates happiness, eh? That's interesting. Fisherman's house also does, and a tenant farmer does. We are wealthy village house. We are producing an awful lot of food. Consumption, 3775, we are not, we are not producing enough, no chapels, libraries, bookshops, ooh, there's a plethora of things here uh, to, to be building, I mean, it, it really does kind of, it really does kind of uh, get complexly more complex, complexly more complex. What brilliant I do English that is. Oh, me English, I do English, English. Ah, uh, uh, very bad. So, I think one of our main problems here, the problemaroonies, are we do not produce enough. So they're taking in wood and they're producing energy. We have more than enough energy. Can we complain about the energy? Uh, no dock, it's got squares. What do you produce? What do you give me? These are all the fishermen's hooses. Come on, let's put a few more fishermen's hooses down in the fishermen's wharf to do the fishermen type things with the fishing. What's that? Village house. What's that? Wooden hut. These are all village houses. These are also village houses. Anything coolified yet? No, obviously not. So, territorially, one should expandify in this direction here. This would be the logical expansion idea. So, what do we need? We don't have the happiness. How can we increase our happiness? Ah, a village bar, of course. Everybody likes a village bar. Now, where do we put the village bar? Why don't we put the village bar there? That'd be a good place for the village bar. With a nice, why can we not put a floral park there? 
Why are you not allowing me a floral park? I want a floral park. Ooh. Or it requires a resource we do not have. And I think we probably need more than one village pub. I think we probably need another one there. I think that would be the right way to entertain one's folks. Now, why don't we go ahead and put another nice park there. And then actually this time, four by four. Five by three, five by oof, not quite enough. Now we do. Okay, pop a road down the back. Very gritty fight, but it is how it is in this game. And I don't know why, really. It is uh, aesthetically, I do like it. You know, if I zoom right in here, you know. Even though it's poly, there is so much detail in the in the in in the in the graphics. You know, little shadings on the roof, but snow on the trees, and I mean, one can't really complain at that. I must go and have a look at the bar, the tavern. Okay, so what's the tavern doing? Village bar, two story. That has got to be increasing people's popularity, people's happiness. Ah, there we go. There we go. People are getting a bit happier. Achievement Village Bar 3. Ah, so if we get another bar in, we've got one up there. So if we go ahead and pop another district in here like so and this time again we're going to put the parks the nice parks here and a tube on the corner there is that a two urban bar Ooh. Lateral Park, what the? What there be a. Ah, now we need a main square. Oh, very good. Skilled work. Ah, that was the resource that we don't have. That is the resource that we don't have. Happiness has to go up. We need to get our happiness up. So, for now, we will just go ahead and house that. Now, what is our... Our food consumption is still good. The wood could be better. The wood really could be better. Now, how can we... How could we possibly improve our wood situation? I know how we can improve our wood situation. We can pop a road through there. We can doze that and doze that. And where's my industry? It's here. We can put in a lumber camp there and a lumber house there. Okay. So that has upped our production a little bit of lumber i mean maybe we should be uh adding a few do you know i'm gonna do something else as well you know just knock that down and i'm gonna pop in a few houses here for the lumber workers um i don't know what is using so much wood I would love to know. Oh, it does tell you. Ah, so a lumberjack house uses minus 20, a lumberjack cabin uses minus 14, a dock is five, and a water mill is minus three. So what does this actually do for us?
it produces 15 wood. What does this do? Oh, it produces electricity. I somehow thought that that produced uh, planks or something like that. I made a, a very drastically bad assumption there. I'm going to delete that. We do not need that. Uh, I think I'm going to delete the one up here as well, because that is just not needed. And Okay, that's all right. Okay, that still gives us 85 power. Now, what we need to do is get our happiness up. So how do we make happy? How do we make happy? Cost, consumption, nice parts, parts, uh, lateral part, what the hell is it? I understand what this is. Mm, very good. Very, very good. You have a lateral parking. And it goes round and then you can have stuff in the centre. So, let us go ahead and just delete everything in this square that's blocking our, uh, our, our road, it's blocking our road it is, um, got some nice houses there, what's our work looking like, 32, we don't make an awful lot of work, how, uh, houses, Ah, and it's the farms. So, what is our food production now? Our food consumption is 2,400. Our production is 2,600. So, very soon we're going to have to think about uh, expanding our farms a little bit. Now that gives us 600, so... Um, wah. Wah. They are expensive. Okay, why don't I go ahead and pop the houses I want to in the middle of that. Uh, that is terribly, terribly expensive, and we will have to get more peons, more peasants, to, to complete that. It is a little bit more expensive than I expected, and it's really taken a knock to our work. So actually, we can't finish that for the moment. It, it's just too expensive for us. What we need is a nice standard 5x5 five five block. Three by three. How much are houses? Oh, 50, and they produce 10. So that will give us 90, surely? Yeah. There we go, and with a little bit more, we should be able to finish that square off nicely. Um, we do need to, our happiness is gone down again. I do not know. Ah, housing, here we go. Uh, mansion, happiness 10, unlock. What gives happiness? Oh. Oh. Ah. 
so we need to get these things in is is one thing the grain silo ah we're missing a farmhouse so actually we do need to expand our farming capabilities over here let me just finish this block i was creating here and then we can connect that up i am positive i blew up these trees but they do seem to grow them awfully rapidly that will give us the work i'm missing if i go back up here i'm not sure that's right Let's let's get five by five. Yeah, I did make a a slight boo boo there. So get another farm in there. If I uh, yeah, also I'm probably gonna need the road in there as well. Uh, put that road up there now. If I bulldoze this. Can I put a farmhouse in? Yes, I can. Okay, so that gives me the five farmhouses. And now I should be able to put in a grain silo. What? So the grain silo can go in. Uh, perfect. Okay, so now we got the grain silo that then allows us to have the neighborhood council, which actually we want to put actually we want to put it somewhere down here. Why don't we put the neighborhood council there? along with the local mark oh no not possible uh no not ooh, with school what do we need for school don't have it uh we need all of these things in square that's what i want ah because we don't have it we can't have floral park for the same reason Square condominium. Oh, what did we need for that? Happiness. What did we need for that? I could have sworn. Was it just that? The only thing we needed that for was the. Aha! Now it allows us these policies. I remember. So. Common gardens, affect produce and consumes fur, and make vegetable gardens, extended working days, sustainable forestry, large landowners, better quality food. Yeah, let's activate that. Overcrowding, no, heavy one to the Fields, no. Serfs, no, no, they're not slaves. Uh, no. Improve conditions for tenant farmers. No. Yeah, go on, we'll, we'll activate that. Oh. markets in football pictures that would also be quite a useful one okay that's fine oh there we go so now we've got a football pitch so let us put the football pitch you know i'm gonna put it in here There's a reason I'm putting it in there because what's this? Something we don't have. 
but at least we have the football pitch. Um, okay, so I think we're going to leave it there for today before we uh, jump in and try and add things like the markets, uh, the increased industrial. Uh, these will be things that we will be looking at next time. Uh, I am very happy with this game, uh, really thoroughly and thoroughly enjoying it, and I hope you are too. So, if you have found it entertaining in any way, please do hit that like or subscribe or social media sharing type stuff. It really does help the channel. So, this has been Urbeck. I've been Carbon Chili. You've been the audience.